those are that's one of the issues then there are other issues like uh, black holes dark matter mm -hmm. dark energy isn't it they're finding energy in the vacuum correct uh, what uh, in this is happening over in the last just few years when they have looked observed some of the supernovas which are supposed to be at the edge of the universe uh, we are looking very far into uh, first 10% of the life of the universe and uh, what they find that those objects are moving or the universe is accelerating uh, which was supposed to be they, they all knew it was expanding when mm -hmm. Hubble expansion data was taken several you know a couple of centuries ago or even before and there's even the red shift I think that correct yeah. Correct, uh, which told them that the farther you go from where you are, the farther away or the farther the speed of the galaxy is moving away from you. And that's called Hubble expansion. But it was a linear fit. It worked very well. But they had not seen the objects as far as they, which they are able to see now with the Hubble telescope and, and the new instruments they have. And so as the farther we go, they found out that from that data tells them that the universe is accelerating its expansion. And uh, that brings back uh, into life what Einstein was trying to uh, bring by his cosmological constant he, into his equations. And that has, that discussion debate has now become alive that what Einstein called his greatest blunder of his life to introduce the cosmological constant into his equations is in fact being justified or being used now as an explanation for the expansion, accelerated expansion of the universe. I was wondering on the acceleration because in order for a particle to be accelerate, it has to have constant energy pushed behind it. So if there's just one bang, what keeps the universe expanding and accelerating? Correct. Even if you go back to the Big Bang theory, uh, what they have, they don't know what happens at t equal to zero. Mm -hmm. But then immediately after that, uh, very small fractions of a second, uh, it started the so-called inflation period, where the universe expanded at superluminal speed. You know, again, violation of Einstein's uh, speed of light, that it uh, expanded by several tens of orders of magnitude in a few seconds hmm. and they called it expansion uh, the the inflation the inflation theory it was uh, developed by Alan Guth of MIT uh, and that has been one of the cornerstones of the Big Bang uh, overall model uh, but that era ends in a few seconds mm -hmm. you know it's like going from Planck scale or that size to like uh, a few centimeters of that, you know, that's a big orders of magnitude, not many orders of magnitude expansion in a very small time. But today we are at, we are estimating 14 billion light years of the age of the universe. Mm -hmm. So that era cannot explain today's expansion. So what brings into, this is one of the unresolved and the biggest mystery which is in the cosmology today that what is expanding the universe what is causing this expansion and the best theories now say that of the overall contents of the universe the matter and energy uh, more than two-thirds about 70 percent is the dark energy this is the energy of expansion which is really causing the accelerated expansion mm -hmm. uh, about uh, uh, 20 Five percent or 26, you know, 23 to 25 percent is the dark matter, which is uh, again predicted by these models to account for the motion of stars in galaxies. These ga these stars are moving so fast in the galaxies as they mm -hmm. observe that in order to keep them intact in the form of galaxies, they ought to be by applying Newtonian laws, they find out there must be hidden matter which is pulling these galaxies, uh, the stars in mm -hmm. and keeps them in, otherwise they will fly apart. Yeah. So 20, about 
let us say a quarter of the universe is in the form of this dark matter which is unseen. Mm -hmm. There is no uh, theory as yet to explain what is that made of and how to predict that, how to analyze that. So, bottom line is this, the overall. So, the gravitational effect of the dark matter is what keeps the, the galaxies cohesive? Correct, correct. All right. Just like uh, uh, if you take a, uh, let's say, a ball and you put a string to it and, and rotate it, mm -hmm. it doesn't fly away because the string is pulling it. Yeah. And the same way the mass, which is called these black holes, you call, black hole is a kind of, again, dark matter, mm -hmm. which is at the center of the galaxy. And, but they also say that even when you go out into the, they call the halos of the galaxies, you go outside the center, there is some hidden matter in the uh, open space where you can't see it, what that is, but it's pulling those stars in, keeping them in. Otherwise, it's like if you st break the string of that ball you're rotating, the mm -hmm. ball will fly away. And same way, if this matter wasn't there pulling it in, like acting like a string, this ball will fly away, the stars will fly away, they're rotating so